In some cases, you may want to create presets that control only part of an object. These are referred to as fine grain presets. One example of a fine grain preset would be if we created a preset to control the auto mixer. And what we really want is a all mics on and an all mics off preset. So we need to control the mutes on the auto mixer. Now our control system is controlling the levels on the auto mixer to vary the volume of the mics in the room. With a normal preset, if I create a preset with all the mutes turned on and called that all mics off, create another preset with all the mutes disabled and call that all mics on, every time I recalled those presets, I'd be setting the volume of every channel back to 0 dB. In this case, that's not what we want. We want to just affect the mutes and not change the levels when we trigger that preset. To do that, I select the object under Selected DSP Blocks, and I click on Edit Block Fields. Now, in the Edit Block Fields window, it's very important to realize when I start checking these boxes, I'm telling the preset editor what I want to control. I'm not turning things on or off. If I click on the four mutes, I've just told the editor I want this preset to control those four mutes. Those check marks do not mean turn the mutes on. It just means this preset does control those mutes. If I hit OK, I can now set my mutes to the condition I want them to be in. In this case, we'll leave them open. So this will become our all mics on preset. And I can hit save. I can also do save as. And we'll make this our all mics off preset. We'll change all the mutes and save that one. Now when I double click on the all mics on, my mutes turn off. Double click on all mics off, mutes are back on. But more importantly, if my control system has made any changes to the volume of those channels, when I trigger these presets, it has no effect on those volumes. It's only changing the mutes. If you look in the selected DSP blocks area, you'll notice the red rectangle around the icon for mixer number two. That red rectangle indicates that we're only controlling part of that object. If I were controlling the entire object, we would see the icon with no red rectangle. Now, when I first go to the edit block fields and I select which items I want to control, when I come back out, that red rectangle will not appear at first. It only appears after I've hit save on that preset. But once I've saved it, that red indicator will let us know that this particular preset only recalls some of the controls in that object.